We, we figure out the how, we figure out the why, and then we make sure the team is really strategically aligned and together and unified. And you know, when, it, when a team can do that, you can basically punch higher than your weight, so to speak. A really lined up team, a really unified team can do much more than the sum of their individuals. So we, on a quarterly basis, want to get together with everybody in leadership, talk about the, the bigger problems that we have within the, uh, the company, uh, the solutions that we want to have. Uh, more importantly, we get together from like a vision perspective, make sure that as many people as possible can be on the same force, which is a very big force. Uh, and then we talk about like the systems that each individual person needs to execute for like the next three months. And so the goal is to make this happen like every, uh, every quarter, so every three months we go somewhere else. So you'll see that today we're in this little uh, conference room, but then uh, during, I think in like an hour and a half, we're gonna go up to LA in the Airbnb so that we, uh, we actually can like rotate through different types of places that we go to, which is really fun. Then we have Cyrus too, who's helping us make sure that he's like moderating. Um, so we're trying to have fun, uh, make sure that we uh, are keeping each other accountable. And, um, and yeah, so that's, that's the plan. And we've gotten COVID tested too, so don't, don't judge us. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, to get started, uh, Jonathan is actually going to start us off. So Jonathan, I, just have, I just have two things to say. First off, everybody, welcome to what we would like to create something of like every quarter that's happening. So if we can, one, feel safe that there are no infectious diseases around. Um, also, a quick note to the camera that we have all been tested, so don't, you don't need to judge us. Um, we'll, have, we'll have a little blurb too, lower third as well. Um, but it'll be really fun to do this and then go somewhere different every single time. So we'll get like an Airbnb. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but the, the first question I have for everybody, uh, how would you like your steak cooked? I need to tell the chef. <laughs> so and think about how this can make your team's lives easier uh, and, uh, and everybody else around us too. Because I think we have a 2021 uh, year ahead of us that I think can be pretty insane from a growth perspective. And I'll tell you guys that the more brand new services we try to adopt with new divisions that require split focus and everything like that, basically we are going to operate at a net loss for the company until we're able to get it to a certain level. The more of those we do, the more we push our kind of goals and our safety out into the horizon because now we're no longer profitable on that. The brand new services we're embarking on are SEO, email, and creative studio, which is being tra treated as an entirely new and separate division. Family room. Now, first we're going to go into the family room, even though I don't have a family. It's yep. simply just my house alone. Right. The, the beautiful baby grand over here in the corner. Right. I play it once a night. Oh, okay. A nice little quick view of where I host my bomb pool parties. Now we'll head into the kitchen where all of my uh, butlers are currently uh, unloading the food. I still don't think I've seen the rest like the pool part for that. Oh, oh, I do like this room. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is uh, the favorite favorite room of the house, I would say. Huh. I do like this spot. Okay. My job <laughs> is just this. It's just like I want to go to Sydney. I want to I want to find people that are salespeople there. I want to do bigger things that like multiply us even faster. Company. I have like the. Um, biggest grasp on like the different types of marketing channels that we're also doing for ourselves. So I want to be viewed as a, as an asset for you, Resource. not as an enemy. Because right. I feel a lot that I'm feel like like as an enemy from people that are that are here too. But I do it because you're the CEO and that's how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. But I like there's some things that you want to do that I think are not like as effective. But we just I just do it because I don't want to argue with you. <laughs> to be honest. Fair. Yeah. You know it's it's all part of servant leadership, right? 
And Jonathan asked me, he came to me like a year ago or something, he said, hey, I want to be a better servant leader, right? And I was like, are you sure? Because <laughs> that's really hard to do, right? What you guys are doing here is very helpful. Again, I, I find it to be a communication issue. And like I said, I'm not giving everyone a hall pass. It's on both sides, 100%. No one gets a free pass, right? Whenever something goes wrong in my business, it's my fault. That's how I always think about it. So I know JD's the same way, so. How was it? It was good, it was informative. Um, I think it was a little bit more emotional than business, which is kind of cool because everyone really got to get their feelings out there and I think that's gonna make for a better business later. I think once we define our goals and we understand where we are and we kind of can look at it in three months and see the growth we've made, I think that'll be a big deal. So we just finished the uh, the summit for day one. We're gonna keep going into day two. Lots of great things discussed today. Lots of big ideas and lots of thinking about Client Boost in the future, which this year's been so crazy. We haven't got a lot of time to do it, but you know, of all the places and of all the people, we definitely know how to how to do a summit right. You can see just by this location. What I hope we walk away from this having is uh, a more clear vision of what 2021 is gonna look like. Um, we have all getting a chance to get here and get it all out on the table. Um, so we're walking away as a, as a stronger team that we're all rowing in the same direction for next year. That's what I'm doing. Good. Oh, it's sharp rocks. <laughs> Wait, Matt, 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 let me get down there. Don't worry. Gainer. Uh, father figure. That's what I was about to say to the camera. <laughs> no dad bod. Father figure. Hey, it's only cool if you do a flip. I have to that right now. <laughs> hey, that's what's cool. I know, but that was old. It was like, hey, first of all, it's not my dad bod. It's my father figure. Okay? <laughs> Is he even keeping us? <laughs> Papa, no! Ah! Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> event Santa has been to this year, this Klein Bernstein has been the most gracious, best party I've ever been to. Yep. This is one that I'll never forget and I love you and Santa wants to thank you for sharing this wonderful evening and this wonderful person Jonathan with me, Santa Claus 2020. Yes, <laughs> yes go, go, go Klein Bernstein. Go Klein Bernstein! Woo!